Hello, Hudson Band. I wanted to take a minute to show some of you uh, how you can pay band fees in Charms. So the website for Charms is charmsoffice.com. Uh, you can also look at or get to that from um, our band website, hudsonband.org. There is a link to Charms there if you can't remember this website. There's also one in Canvas. Um, once you get here, you'll click on log in and you always want to make sure that you uh, click parents, students, members. The school code is Hudson Sound Machine, all one word, Hudson Sound Machine. And then your student password, if you're a brand new student, this will be just your plain old student ID number, six digits. Uh, if you have logged in before, uh, it probably made you change it the first time you logged in. If you're a returning student and you haven't logged in yet this year, your password is probably the letter S and then your student ID number. Uh, but if you can't get to, you can't get logged in for some reason, you can send me an email and I can reset the password to be your student ID number. So then you can change it to whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm going to change mine. It does have to be a combination of numbers and letters, but if you add a special character, it won't accept it. I found that out the hard way. So I'm going to change my password. I am logging in. Oh, my old password was not correct. Sorry. Hopefully I'm right this time. Okay, so once it accepts your new password, um, you will get to this screen. This is like the home screen of Charms. And if you wanna make sure that you're always getting our communication, you can click this update info icon. Um, this should have the information for your student. It will say, um, you know, their first and last name, their address, uh, the email address that all of our communication is going to. Um, if you want to add another adult, if more, multiple adults in your household would like to get the communication from the band, you can click the add new adult button and um, type in as much or as little information as you would like here. The one thing that you do need to be really sure of is that you always click the update button in the top right hand corner uh, and otherwise it won't save your work. So make sure you always click the update button. I'm going to go back to that home screen and show you quickly um, the information about finances. There is a button that says finances. It looks like a little wallet. When you click on it, it will show you um, lots of really complicated information. Uh, the one thing that you're really going to want to focus on is when it says total balance due. Fixed payments due, that's the fixed payment is the fall band fee. Right now it's $30. Mine says not paid. If you're a returning student uh, and you have a credit on your account from last year's band fees, uh, your total balance due will not be $30. It will be less than that. Uh, and if that's the case, it's not going to let you click this pay by PayPal button. But if you owe a full $30, you can click this little toggle switch over here. Um, and then you can click pay fixed payments. And then it's going to just walk you through PayPal. Basically, you click start payment. It'll take you to PayPal, make you sign in, and it will charge you that way. So I'm not going to go through all of that with you because you can get there on your own. I'm sure of that. Um, if you owe less than $30 and this toggle switch is not available to you, the best thing for you to do is scroll down to the bottom and you can click the button that says make miscellaneous payment. And then you can type whatever amount you would like to pay for your band fees, whatever is, is left there. Or if you want to make some small payments and you need to do it that way, um, you can do it through the miscellaneous payment. So you can do however much you wanna pay or whatever's left. This is for my fall band fees. Click the start payment button. Again, it'll go through and it'll log you in to PayPal and all of that kind of stuff. Um, once you get to that and you've made a miscellaneous payment, you'll wanna click the button that says transfer request up here at the top. 
Um, and mine's going to tell me that I can't do that because I have a balance of zero dollars. But once you've made the payment into the miscellaneous ledger, you can ask and you can request for that money to be transferred over to your fall band fees um, if, you, if you had a credit and you didn't actually owe the full $30. So that's how you can make that get back to zero and make everything look look um, better for you. You can always check, check the financial statement up here uh, and it'll give you more information as you make payments. You'll see lots of stuff here. Some of it's really confusing. So if you have any questions ever, you can send an email to treasurer at hudsonband.org and our lovely band booster treasurer, Miss Amy Albus, can help answer questions that you have about your band fees. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night.